Hi, this is Jean at Full Circle Health and Wellness, and I'm here today with Sarah Derubis. She's one of our nurse practitioners, and we're going to be talking about bioidentical hormone replacement for women today. So Sarah, just a few questions for you. I thought we could start with what is menopause and perimenopause? What are the difference between the two? So perimenopause is the time that um, a woman may be in for you know, a good 15, 20 years of her life. Many women will start having changes with their hormones in their mid-30s. Menopause is a period of time that typically occurs in a woman's life around age 50 to 52, but there are many factors that will influence the time frame that a female would stay in perimenopause prior to transitioning into menopause. So, well, what are some of the symptoms? Give us an idea of what to look for because we hear about hot flashes. That's a common complaint. But what are some of the other symptoms that we could be aware of? Sure, so for perimenopause, occurring as early as mid-30s, one of the common symptoms that we typically will see is fatigue. Fatigue, low libido, um, decreased stamina for workouts, the metabolism starts slow, you have weight gain or inability to lose weight. Um, we also start to see some changes in mood, worsening anxiety, decreased ability to adapt to stressful environments. Um, as we get closer to menopause, we start seeing more of the common hot flashes, night sweats, vaginal dryness, insomnia, memory loss, and brain fog. You may have one or two of those symptoms, you may have all of those symptoms, or anywhere in between. Every woman is different. Sounds lovely. Sounds lovely. So what do you do to treat the two scenarios, perimenopause versus menopause? So for many women, especially women in their 30s and 40s, they are not aware that there are things that they can utilize hormonally to help transition and improve their quality of life and decrease their symptoms. So for women in perimenopause, they can see a healthcare provider who is well versed in hormone balancing, who can you know, evaluate her symptoms, get some blood work on her, go over her health history, see you know, how can we help support her during this time, improve her quality of life, and treat her symptoms. So with that being said, whether you're 35, 45, 55, or beyond, many women can come and see a hormone specialist who can look at the whole picture, what's going on in her life, what are her symptoms, what does her blood work look like, and determine if hormone balancing is something that would be beneficial for her. Now I know that you prefer to use bioidentical hormones for hormone replacement therapy, so maybe you can tell us a little bit about bioidentical hormones and how they work. Yes, absolutely. I prefer bioidentical hormones for many reasons. One of the main reasons why I prefer bioidenticals are they are 99% biologically identical molecularly that us as women you know, produce on their own. So we're not using a horse-derived synthetic hormone. We're using plant-based, traditionally from yams, that are going to be pretty on point to what we would make naturally. So we typically have um, these bioidenticals compounded, personalized for you by an FDA-regulated compound pharmacy. So it sounds like it's a lot safer and more effective even because they're made for that person. I definitely see in comparison to synthetics that women typically are happier with bioidenticals. They um, typically have less side effects. You know, there's side effects with any medication or treatment um, or remedy that a man or woman would utilize, but I definitely see that women tolerate them much better. And I, as a practitioner, am much more comfortable treating a female with something that I know molecularly is identical almost 100%, you know, 99% to what a female would be producing naturally. That sounds good. Yes. So if a um, person wanted to come in to be evaluated to see if they're a good candidate for bioidentical hormone replacement, how do they go about doing that? And how do you test to see if their levels are low? So the first thing that I recommend is if you're having one of the symptoms that we went over here today, or multiple, to make an appointment for a hormone consultation. Um, your practitioner can go over all of your symptoms, get a health history, go over current medications that you're taking, um, concerns, questions, family history is very important for determining 
you know, what we can safely give you, how much, the method that we choose to deliver hormones to you. And from that point, you know, you get a full assessment. Um, we could draw your blood work at your appointment. We typically are looking at um, not only just female hormones, we're looking at thyroid and vitamin B and vitamin D, blood counts, different things like that. So that's typically your first appointment. We'd like you to come back for a follow-up, you know, a week or two later, we go over all of your blood work in detail. Um, it's pretty comprehensive. We like to do a lot of education so that you really understand what's going on and maybe where your symptoms are coming from. And then we talk about treatment options. If, you know, whether it's maybe some vitamin D or, you know, maybe it's testosterone or estrogen or progesterone or all three. Are there options on the how to deliver the different hormones? Absolutely. So there's three main treatment options. Um, there's there's plenty more out there, but the three that I feel very strongly behind that I've utilized for many years, there's topicals, there's sublingual trochies that dissolve under the tongue, and then there's also pellet therapy that's inserted under the skin. And they're all three great treatment options. The thing about hormone replacement therapy is it's very adaptable. We start slow and, and you know watch your outcomes, your symptoms, your improvements, your labs, and we can adjust along the way. If you start with one treatment option because that's what you're most comfortable with, you can transition to another one or vice versa. So it's really a nice, um, flexible treatment um, options for, for women nowadays. That sounds really great. So tell me too, are there health benefits other than relieving symptoms to receiving bioidentical hormone replacement? Absolutely. And this is actually an area that really isn't talked about very much for women. So I have plenty of women that are choosing to utilize bioidentical hormones, estradiol, testosterone, for prevention of osteoporosis. So as women um, no longer produce their own hormones, their bones start to thin and become more brittle, they're higher risk for fracturing, a lot of times fracturing before even falls occur. And so many women are utilizing estradiol and or testosterone to improve bone strength and prevent osteoporosis from occurring. Also, one of the other areas that we commonly are not talking about for women is a lot of women end up with cardiovascular health issues. So one that we know about women is estradiol and testosterone prevents hardening of the arteries in, in our um, cardiovascular system. So with women taking estradiol and testosterone, we maintain the elasticity, preventing the risk for cardiovascular disease. Um, also, another area that we see improvement or for prevention of disease for women is um, dementia, you know, memory, mm -hmm. things of that nature. And we know that the aging process accelerates outside and inside when women go into menopause and no longer have hormones. And one of the things we're starting to see is brain fog, poor concentration, memory loss. And we know that um, estradiol and testosterone can help improve those areas as well. And also one of the bigger epidemics that we have in the United States nowadays is diabetes. Diabetes is starting in our 20s and 30s, especially with our population um, being overweight at a much younger age and more sedentary. So what we've seen with testosterone specifically is a reversal of prediabetes. So it's not necessarily the magic pill. Uh, you shouldn't stop taking your diabetes meds if you are diabetic, mm -hmm. but it is something that can help um, utilize um, your diabetes meds or prevent prediabetes if you are becoming insulin resistant. Well, it sounds great. So pretty much any woman who is in her 30s and experiencing one or more symptoms that you mentioned earlier should definitely look into some sort of uh, replacement therapy. Absolutely. I think that for many women, we are taking our antidepressants or taking your blood pressure meds or you know feeling defeated because we can't lose weight or you know why do I feel like I don't have any energy or my libido is not there and I, the point that I would like to get across what I'm passionate about is for women you don't have to just accept that now you're 35 or now you're 45 it shouldn't just be oh I'm getting older there could be hormone imbalance that is contributing to the decrease in quality of life that you're currently experiencing well, sounds great. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thanks for having me.